Hey, hey, party people. Thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays the Hanged Man. So, this is the final game in the Strange Man series, and it's a little bit odd. I mean, all the other games kind of gave us what the premise was pretty early on. The Crooked Man, David learns that he his house was haunted and he needed to go and find who lived there previously and yada yada yada. The Sandman, Sophie figured out pretty quick that everyone didn't, was asleep in town and she needed to figure out why this was happening. And in the Boogeyman, they all went to the castle and the Boogeyman started doing all his mischievous things. But this one, I have no idea. I mean... We've got this character whose name is Will. And then we've got a weird talking rat named Pop, which you can see right here. And I don't know who this person is. I don't know what he's doing here. And so it's a little bit strange. Monster in the Mirror. Did I not read this book yet? The Monster in the Mirror asks, What's your name? How old are you? Where do you live? What do you like? What do you hate? Are you a good kid? Are you a bad kid? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who's that in the mirror? Well, that's terrifying. Never want to read that book again. I've had a new revelation. My past tyranny is why I am confined here, and now I feel nothing but unease. What awaits me is only ruin. This is not the future I desire. The only future I need is one of salvation. Okay, so tyranny, unease, ruin, and salvation are the words that they want me to take note of here. Well, that doesn't help me here. I have no direction. I'm so confused. Oh, I can go in the confessional. Okay, good. This is what I needed to do all along. This looks sort of like a confession booth, but this ain't no church, is it? So what in the world? Confessing, Will? Sorry, I think the priest is out, but all right, I can fill in. <laughs> all right, may as well make this rat our therapist. <clears throat> Come, confess your sins, O oh little lost lamb. Well, uh, maybe big lost lamb? He looks sad. Is Man, he praying? I don't get that at all. There's nothing to confess for. It's just the way things went, right? Why don't we get to hear what he says? All right, enough messing around. We gotta think about what to do next. Oh, God. Is that someone on the other side? <laughs> Was that that hobo? Wonder if he heard that. Well, if he heard that, I sure wish I could have heard that. What did you do, Will? I don't know about this place, but I do know it's creepy. I'm not feeling warmed at all. Let's find someplace else, Will. Good idea. But what's this? An open Bible. Well, the guy who was sitting here is gone, so perhaps that was him. Unfortunately, we can't really escape this place because we came in through a window and we kind of fell into it, so unless we can... This is underground, huh? Can you reach up there, Will? <laughs> a for effort, Will. No dice. Oh well, let's look for another exit. 
Okay. It's been a while since I've saved, so let's just do that. We're looking for another exit, and we have this key for the visiting room 3, but we can't get into the actual visiting room's main area yet. And that homeless guy is wandering around now, and we don't know where he could have gone. So it's all kind of unsettling here. Still can't get this thing. Something's inside. Dang it. Uh, whoa. Hey, somebody's coming. Ah, uh, hide somewhere. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I, I what? I I don't know where to hide. Don't move. What are you doing here? <gasps> Is that Keith? Hey. Ugh. Oh, Weren't you that runaway kid at the motel yesterday? I was really hoping I could get through this whole game without seeing his stupid face, but here we are. What are you doing in a place like this? What's your name? Why aren't you in school? Why don't you mind your own goddamn business, Keith? Run! Well, at any rate, this is a restricted area. Come on, you're leaving. Like hell I am! Run, Will, run! Run away! Sheesh, I'm not in the community safety division here. Do you have to complain about doing your job every single time, really? Hey, if you're running from home, stick to motels. Because this is an especially bad pick to stay the night. This place is what they call haunted. I know, that's why I'm here. Oh, guess you didn't know. Fifteen years ago, five people died here, and in a real unusual way at that. Hmm. Sometimes dumb kids come here on a dare, but they come back telling the strangest stories, that they saw shadows or heard sobbing. That sounds awesome. You want to know how those five got killed? Keith, what is your problem? First you come in here and start complaining, oh, I gotta save this kid, and now you're telling him about a frickin' serial murder that happened 15 years ago? How do you still have a job? I hear they were hung, and their guts were cut open. All five of them. You're a terrible human being. They were hung by the leg, upside down. The blood pouring from their stomachs dyed them red. Just like... That. Ah! <laughs> or so the story goes. Well, scared, right? Glad you understand. Now. A rat. Pop! Pop! Wait! Don't go! Hey! We get... Pop! Pop! So you can speak. Oh my god, I finally just, just... If I was in front of Keith right now, I would punch him in the face! What did you have to do that for? Pop got scared off because you threatened him. Yes, tell him off! That was your pet? He's not my pet. He's my friend. Huh? Ah. Uh, Mm. I mean... Anyway, you better take responsibility and help me find Pop. Yeah, Keith, you better frickin' stop being such a terrible human. Me? Look for that rat? You must be joking. But he ran away because you threatened him, okay? I'll say I'm sorry for being threatening, but I had no reason to expect you had a rat in your pocket, did I? How about you're just randomly trying to scare a kid half to death for no reason. And if you don't want your pet running, he's a leash. What if he jumped out and bit somebody? God, I wish he would have bitten you. Pop would never bite people. Sure, like you know best. Maybe you kept that rat in your pocket because he thought he wouldn't run. But he did, didn't he? 
Yeah, because of you. I just, I hate him. It's like flames, flames on the side of my face, burning, and I just, I can't deal with him. That settles that. Sorry, but I've got no time to look for any rats. If you want to look, you'll have to do it yourself. And once you find them, get right out of here, stupid brat. God, you... I freaking hate you. Like, go get and Go... Just... Just go, Keith. What's your name? I'm not fucking telling you. It's none of your business. Goddamn right it's not. Get going quick. I don't think the snow is stopping anytime soon. Yeah, that's a perfect incentive to leave this perfectly... warm building. Pop. I need to find Pop quick. Then I'll, I'll get out of this place. I'll be fine on my own. R right, Pop? You're not on your own, Will. I'll take good care of you. And God... I hope I never have to see that smug, uncaring, selfish, son of a freaking. Ugh! I hate Keith. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. But hey, on the bright side, we got a better look at Will now. He's got nice blonde hair and blue eyes, and he, he can talk, so that's good to hear. Uh, still can't do that. Okay, so we're looking for Pop. He ran away somewhere, which is annoying because he's an intelligent, sentient rat, so I don't know why he would leave. <gasps> this was locked last time, right? I'm pretty sure it was. Now we have access to all of the rooms! Ooh, this is exciting! May as well go in them one by one! See if there's anything worth noting. Great, so there was absolutely nothing in any of those rooms. Ooh, a public shower! A locker! Okay, so there was absolutely nothing worth noting of this on this side. Guess we'll go up one floor. Oh man! What the heck? I'm gonna go to the top. What the heck? I feel like I keep ending up in the same place. That's w just what I was thinking! Creepy, but let's continue, I guess. Alright, fine. Maybe now there will be something different in these rooms. Maybe I'll check the bathroom again. Oh, there's nothing here. There's signs of something having been erased. Maybe this used to say the floor number. Come to think of it, what floor am I on? No idea. Damn it, where'd that jerk go? Are you talking about Pop or Keith? Uh. I want to get out of here now. Okay, I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should check my map. Oh, right, that's only for area one.
Hello? Hello? Why can't I open this locker? Hey, I have an idea. Maybe I can spray paint a fake number on here. Haha! -ha! This place seems abandoned. Should be fine, right? Loopy stairs. There's signs. You've marked it with spray paint. Oh, great! Oh, man. Do I have to do that to... Now if I go back down, it's still there. Okay, so... I can kind of hear something. Great! Someone crying! At least something's happening. Maybe the bathroom? In the locker? No? Hmm. Alright, fine. I'll check every single room yet again. There's something written on the desk. The monster's driving me out of here. I don't want to leave. 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 Okay. Noted. <gasps> I made it to the top! Hooray me! There's another map. Oh my god. So, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 33. Oh, but that one's crossed out. 14, 11. So there's... Okay. Oh, shoot. And then 5, too. So we're on the 6th floor exam room, and then the back room. I will take that map, thank you very much. There's a notice about interviews. Patients set to leave the hospital must be interviewed by their doctor by within one week. Okay, well then what's this? It's locked again. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Can I go further down? No, I can't. Alright, so let's figure this out. Can we now... Now that we know where we are... I can't... Alright, fine. Okay, so I gotta get to... We're on floor 5 right now. And so one down. And then this one... It won't open. It's been painted over with concrete. Would you like a dusty notebook? No? Okay. I'm really confused right now. Exam room. Okay, well, that was... That didn't... We couldn't do anything in this area. Well, at least I'm not stuck in a loop anymore. Oh, God. Oh, God. This place gives me a really bad feeling. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's locked. Okay. I guess I'll go then. <gasps> the visiting room is done now. I mean, unlocked. Okay. Uh... How can I get through? I have a key for visiting room three. Nope. All right, let's see. 
What else is unlocked in this place? <gasps> I'm outside! Probably shouldn't leave yet, though. Pop. If I left without Pop, I'd be a real scumbag. Well, I... How am I supposed to find him? He's in the cracks and the vents and the crap. Oh god. I was just in this room. And the lights were on. Right? Maybe I'll go back to the confessional again? I guess not. So these lights are just off for no reason. Okay, cool. Alrighty, good to know, good to know. It's too dark. Oh god. Oh god, I don't like this. Can't I? Wait, maybe I can... No? Okay. I thought I would be able to smash the windows, but I guess not. Okay, so there's gotta be something here. Maybe this is the visiting room. <gasps> yes! Yes, yes, yes! Nice! I figured it out. Oh. But again, there's nothing here. What is the point of anything that's going on? Can I spray can paint it again? I don't understand it. Okay, I think I have no choice but to go in each and every single door in all five, uh, on all five floors. So I'll meet you if I find anything interesting. <laughs> Jesus fucking, Jesus fucking fuck. Well, that was unexpected. A dirty bed. There's a dark red stain on it. Oh, great. There's something under the bed. My beloved Alec, I heard you're being moved to the back building in two weeks. I suppose I'll never get to meet you again. If you can still understand me at all, read this letter carefully. One week from now, I'll come see you. Sit at the utmost right seat in the living room, in the visiting room. I'll have a knife put under the table. Take it with you in secret. There will be two there, but only take one. Arkin will bring you the other one if you fail. Arkin has told me he he'll definitely get this letter to you. Once you've read this, hide it and don't show anyone, because if anyone finds it, it will mean trouble for Arkin, your loving mother. Okay, great! Now we have an incentive to go back to... Okay, sorry, my partner's phone started ringing and so I had to edit that out. But, we're going back to the visitor's room. Oops. I don't think it was this way. The visitor's room and sitting on the utmost right. We're going to the visiting room. And we're sitting on this chair. No, the utmost right. This chair. No? Maybe this is the wrong visiting room. There were two. So let's just go and see. The utmost right chair. Aha! There's something under the table on the other side, but you can't reach it! Seriously? Oh, wait a second. Oh, and then opposite. There we go. Haha. <laughs> There's something between the table and the floor. Obtained a knife. All right. What am I going to use this on, I wonder? Oh, 
Whoa, oh god, oh god, oh god! No! What was that? Will, what the hell was that? Will, please, what, what was that? Why did you stop? Why did you shiver? Did you feel something? Did you see something? Like, you gotta communicate with me, Will. We're a team. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna end this episode here, um, because that was freaky, and I need a break, so thank you all very much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we will definitely figure out where we are supposed to be using this knife, and hopefully we can stab Keith with it, because that would be so satisfying. But anyways, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah!